All right, uh, uh, here's the data, and then I'm going to type this in the calculator. So I, I turn on the calculator, and then I do a stat edit, and to clear those lists, I go up, and then I hit the clear button, hit enter, uh, clear button, enter. So L1 and L2, and now I'm going to type in all the data. I'll pause it while I do that. All right, I'm partway through entering the data, and the next data point is uh, negative 87.1. So when I type that, just to make sure, it's, it's this negative button, not the minus button. So this negative button, and then 87.1. Uh, point, point All right, I'll pause while I finish the data. All right, now I've got the data entered, so I'm going to uh, press uh, stat and then calc and then number eight, enter, and that's my correlation, and I need to be sure that I include the negative sign for this. Uh, then if I want to find the outlier, I do a zoom, and then it's a, uh, oh, I need to make sure it's turned on. I clear out everything here, make sure my plot one's turned on, then I do a zoom, and it's a nine. And there's my outlier. To find the outlier, I do trace. And then I arrow over until I see that one highlighted. There, it's highlighted. So that's the outlier at 224 and negative 31. So I go to stat, edit, and I look for that outlier, 224, uh, negative 31 is the last one. To get rid of that, I hit delete, delete, and now when I do uh, look at the graph, it's gone, and I do a zoom nine, and I see the data. It's pretty scattered actually, but uh, to get the uh, the correlation coefficient, uh, stat, calc, eight, enter, and there's our new correlation. And look how small it is. It's almost close to 0 0.004. Uh, that outlier was definitely very influential with uh, the correlation.